something like that. <laughs> well, this camera's on too. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. This. Yeah, yeah. They know you by the California. How do you do? <laughs> yeah, I know it. Well, just uh, just say uh, this is the this is the nine question challenge. Can you say that? This is the nine question challenge. There you go. All right, now you know. All right, bro. We'll see you, man. Uh, all right, man. Love you too. Yes, sir. I hate gravel. Hate it. Everybody, Smyrna Cowboy here. How y'all doing today? Today is September 29th, 2016 at 11.03 in the morning. Just leaving my brother Jim's house. Working on his uh, memorial DVD for his wife that passed away back last November. Uh, we're going to have a uh, celebration of life service. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday. So doing some finishing touches on that. And, uh, some get some pictures to scan for the DVD and all that good stuff. I have been challenged by Harley Trek to do a nine question challenge. So, uh, believe it or not, I guess it's been about a month ago that I've already done that challenge for one of my uh, person I subscribe to overseas over the pond, the Suffolk Andy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna post it on here, the questions that uh, I answered and stuff. So I guess I'm gonna cheat a little bit and uh, do it like that. So I know sort of cheated a little bit, but since I've already done it and I'd like to get that video up, so, uh, Harley Trek, here you go, buddy. The nine question challenge, as you heard my brother say before we, before I left. And, uh, this has been a, a call out from Harley Trek. So without further ado, ado, here we go. Question number one, when did you start did you start riding? I think it was. Yeah. Well, I started riding back in 2006. Well, actually, let me digress a bit. I started, uh, well, no outlet. Okay, well, got to turn back around. It used to be an outlet, now it's not. When did I start riding? Well, I tried to ride back in the mid 70s. My brother had a CB 360 back in the day, and we went down to a we went down to a football field. to morning, and he tried to teach me how to shift gears and ride the bike. Well, that was a pretty much a fiasco. So it was pretty much like an obscene phone call. I dropped that thing so many times, I said, eh, nah, piss on it. So, let's see, what is it? I don't think that goes anywhere either. Nope. I turned it the wrong thing. Oh, well. It's a nice morning. So... Um, I started riding uh, full time back in 2006 after I took the uh, Motorcycle Safety Foundation course. And 
and I've been uh, riding ever since. All right, number two, when, did, why did you start riding? Well, that's another story in itself, but to make a long story short, gas prices got so high over here. Of course, there's nothing like they are over there and uh, across the pond and the uh, at Britain and Scotland and all over seas there. So I had that Dodge truck and I had to get something that was more economical on gas and um, scooters had more storage and the step through design and all that stuff. So that's the reason, the primary reason that I ride is because of fuel economy. But the uh, side effects of that is it's fun. <laughs> It's really fun, and I really enjoy it. So, that's the reason why I ride. What was your, number three, what was your first bike? Well, my first bike was that uh, Black Bergman 650, 2004. My first bike, ALF. And that was my first ever bike. And I rode it from 2006 from 2006 until 2014, and I put a little over 36,000 miles on it. I bought it used. It had 1,300 miles on it, and then the rest I put on myself. So that was my, my very first bike. Okay, and number four, what was what is your dream bike? Well, for right now, I'm riding it. It's a 20, 2012 Bourbon 650 Executive model. So what's the difference between the Executive and the stock? Not all that much, actually, but the improvements were significant. in the uh, executive model. The Bergman, they changed, they completely redesigned the 650 in 2013. So all the stuff that I had on the other bike, which was the 2004, wouldn't fit. My side bags, the top bag, um, all that stuff would not fit. My custom seat that I have had made would not fit on the 2013 so I got a real good deal on this bike the 2012 I had to drive to Indianapolis to pick it up they usually list about 10 grand ten thousand dollars but I got this one for 6299 because it was leftover had uh, two miles on it when I bought it so I got a really good deal on that one and the differences between the stock and the executive, this has the power windscreen and the power mirrors. It also has ABS and the brakes are linked. <coughs> Excuse me. On this model. ALF was not. 